The Yongle Emperor, who was the very powerful Chinese emperor of the Ming Dynasty, recognized the diplomatic potential of the exquisite porcelains that Jing Dezhen was able to create. The emperor actually took control of the production of the kilns, thus raising the quality to the highest possible levels. The dish was made in the early 1420s in a city called Jingdezhen, the great porcelain center of China. The design on the dish of very rich bunches of grapes hanging from the vine is elegant and beautiful, also fairly rare in the canon of Chinese porcelain production. This design was inspired almost back to the classical period in the West, from which grapes have always been an admired design. By using them as diplomatic gifts, the Yongle Emperor was aiming to bring nations around China and much further afield to a great awe and respect of China. So the element of more international interest is shown not just in some of the diplomatic mission of a dish of this type, but also in the designs that are being used. The other element to the dish is what we find on the reverse, where there are a number of markings. These markings identified the pieces as being from particular collections, probably in the 15th and 16th century Persia. Three markings are legible. One, a circular seal carved right into the center of the dish. This vakf marking records the donation of this piece by one of the most extraordinary women of the period, Mahinbanu Khan. Mahinbanu was a remarkable woman. She was the daughter of and sister of Shahs of Iran of the time. She herself played an important political and diplomatic role. She established an endowment for the welfare of women, in particular to help orphan girls into marriage. Mahin Banu assembled during her life a collection of porcelains, and at her death, these were donated to the shrine of Ali al Rida, also known as Imam Reza, who was the eighth of 12 Imams venerated in Shia Islam. The other salient mark on the piece is actually carved in the glaze on the foot rim of the piece, which is an unusual place to be carved. That is the mark of the Mughal ruler, Shah Jahan. Pieces from this remarkable collection have been distributed around the world, and in fact dishes of similar design and similar periods are found in such great collections as the Avery Brundage Collection in the Asian Art Museum of San Francisco, the Archaeological Museum in Hyderabad in India, and the Asia Society in New York, the great collection of the Rockefellers. The dish was part of the Gwennell Collection, which is the collection of Alistair Martin. The piece now comes to us from the family, but in the interim it has been loaned to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. More recently it was in the Brooklyn Museum of Art. The porcelains produced in China were admired and were treasured by wealthy people, by traders, and even by the elites of the great dynasties across the Silk Road. So porcelain really holds a place that is very special in the international marketplace.